five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. From Harlem in New York. Hey, everybody, it's the Ramble, and I am Alex, and we will be here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, welcome to our fine little program. Uh, I'm here once again talking at you, and uh, I thought we'd do something a little special tonight. I'll tell you why. Uh, uh, we have somebody who's been missing in action. Uh, he was supposed to be on, what, last week. And uh, due to, um, um, how can I put it, a severe illness of some, uh, a severe, uh, he, oh, what can I say? Our friend Wilders uh, had, a, had a stroke. Uh, and he's on the mend. Uh, but uh, I, I miss him on this program because every three weeks he would come by and we'd do a Skype thing with him. And uh, what I found today, I was going to say, well, I'll play Will every now and then. Oh, let me turn on the light in back of me here so the girlfriend doesn't feel she didn't spend the money on the, on the air light. Um, then I decided that uh, I, would, I would, you know, play one of the old Wills every now and then so we don't lose them. And um, I came across this one, which happened to be Will Durst live in our studio here when he was doing his one-man show in New York. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Will Durst. Ladies and gentlemen, we have somebody live in our studio. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. You, you, you know him, you love him, you've seen him before on our program because he's on a lot. Here he is again. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely, the attractive, Will Durst. Hi, it's, Will. It's good to be here, Mr. Alex. The, yes, explain why you're here, actually. I'm doing my little show at a theater called uh, the Playroom Theater. Yeah. At 151 West 46th Street on the 8th floor, right in Midtown, right off of Times Square, right next to the TGI Fridays. And I'm here Tuesday... November 13th through Sunday, November 18th. TGI Fridays. I know where the... Uh, what street is it on again? 46. 46, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cross from the pig and whistle. Yeah. You, you cross from the pig and whistle? Yeah, is, it, yeah. is there still a pig and whistle? Oh, it's a bar. It's not a, it's not a grocery store. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the, it, was the pig and whistle a grocery store at one time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it uh, okay? I'm trying to remember what the pig and oh, the, Piggly Wiggly. Is Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, that was a grocery store. That was a grocery store. Pig and whistle, though, I do remember Pig and Whistle as being like a candy store or something. I don't, I don't, know. Know. I don't know. I'm not from around here. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm doing the show. Yeah. 90, uh, 80 minutes. Because there's not as many laughs as there normally are. But a uh, <laughs> little tiny theater, about 65 seats. It's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's a gem. Yeah. yeah. So, well, so we're going to come down and see you on... You're on the guest list for so Saturday I feel night. guilty, though, about taking up two free seats in a 65-seat room. Uh, don't worry about it. Trust me. We're just looking for bodies. Yeah. 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 I mean, is it is it a financial reason that you come here to do it? Or is it to get seen? It's uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah, and and uh, the show should have ended because it's called it, the subtitle is Midterm Madness. Show should have ended five days ago with the uh, midterm elections, but I kept it going for two weeks, and then I don't know what I'm going to do now that the Democrats have taken the House. And Wait a minute, they're, they're already of, on TV. They're already. Running, so, talking about yeah. the next election. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it, it's it's five days before. Uh, it's five days after the most important election of your lifetime. But yeah. it's seven hundred and twenty-one <laughs> days before the most important election of your lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, uh, November third, twenty twenty. Yeah, but, but mark but, it down. But but shouldn't they be forced like the networks or whatever? Just cool it until the first of the year. You know, this happened but in 2016. Just, this happened in 2014. They this, gin it up like crazy because they got nothing to talk about if they don't do that. Well, there's going to be enough fights. There's going to be plenty of fights. Trump is uh, the president. Donald Trump. 
Trump has already uh, uh, threatened that if they investigate him, he's going to investigate them. <laughs> For what it was like, it was like I never understood. Oh, uh, uh, the Democrats are, are you know, they're energized. Uh, the whole base is energized because women, you know, feel so disenfranchised, and they're going to come out and prove. And the and the Republicans are are they're they're excited too. Their base because of why the Kavanaugh thing that that white men are afraid they're losing their entitlement. I never understood why they thought the Republican base was going to be. Energized. They're beginning to worry about Kavanaugh. Why? Well, because he's been very, very quiet and hasn't been hanging out with his conservative pals on the Supreme Court. I think I think he's a he's a stealth liberal. I really do. You do? Yeah. I think it was the only reason that Kennedy agreed to step down while he was still alive, although there were questions because he was a swing vote. It always depended upon. What side of bed yeah, he got he out of. he was a conservative. He was a conservative. He was yeah. appointed by Bush. Yeah. Bush won, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, and I think the only reason he stepped down was if if his former law clerk, yeah. uh, Kavanaugh, got the gig. But but then, of course, the other day, poor Rose uh, Bader Ginsburg, uh, uh, she, Ruth Bader Ginsburg shows up. Uh, with three broken ribs, she fell down. Yeah, yeah, right. She got in a bar fight. Come on, that was <laughs> obvious. She was, she was, she was probably throwing a couple roundhouses at Kavanaugh. They were, you know, they were halfway through their second pitcher. Wow, that's my guess. Wow. Oh boy, yeah. You well, know, uh, I'm, you know, I feel sorry for her because she should be retired and enjoying life and so on. And I think she just feels she can't. She's got to hang on. Two more years. Yeah. 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 Although I'm worried that Trump is going to see, you know, the whole world fall down around his ears. And there'll be a phony kind of attack on either him or America. And then suddenly, you know, martial law and the Proud Boys start, you know, wandering around streets, arresting people who look at him funny and... And then uh, Congress will be uh, arrested and put in jail for inciting violence, and uh, you know, and then there'll be loyalty oaths, and and I'll be in a a camp, a reeducation <laughs> camp. That's, yes, I really believe. Yes, that. you yeah. will, uh, and 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 for good reason. <laughs> 1934 Germany. Hello, <laughs> for good reason. No, I. Uh, 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 what I love about Trump is is the way he decries every election that he loses. It's yeah, yeah, fraud, fraud. Yeah, but he was yelling fraud before the last election where he was elected president, yeah. and when he won, <laughs> we all agreed with yeah. him. <laughs> he was right. He was right. Yeah, he said that if we voted for Hillary, we'd have a president under criminal investigation, and sure enough, we voted for Hillary, Hillary and the president's president. under. Didn't they say that about Goldwater? They they said if I if I voted for Goldwater, blah 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 blah, uh, we'd escalate the war in Vietnam, and so I voted for Goldwater, and sure enough, we, <laughs> we escalated, escalated the, the war, war in Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same joke. It's, it's an just old recycle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't change dicks in the middle of a screw. Yeah, that only worked because of Nixon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, you know, I, I kept saying that uh, I kind of, you, you know, look back now on, on, on Bush and don't think he's that bad. The halcyon days of George yeah, W. I, I almost long for the days of, of, uh, of George Bush. And Dick Cheney, and, yeah. And then I suddenly realized that, well, his father wasn't that bad either. And then I think back even further, and I go, well, you know, maybe Reagan wasn't that bad. <laughs> and then I th look back even further and say, well, maybe Nixon wasn't terrible either in comparison. And then I say, you know, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I think, yeah, gone too far there. Well, I, I just, I think he would have uh, gotten props if he'd gone a little easier on the Jews, but, you know. Yeah, the six million, you know, that's such a... Big number. I was watching a documentary on uh, on uh, Netflix on uh, Hitler and the Andes, uh, and that Hitler got away during World War II. Oh, really? He's in the Andes. There were a lot of theories. The FBI, in fact, was looking for Hitler long after World War II. Well, you know, he blew himself up in a bunker. They never found the body, right? Well, they say that the body has never been 
identify. Uh, uh, they, I think they had the teeth, maybe something like that, but it wasn't. It was kind of, and the Russians have all the the forensics on it, but because they got there first. But they've held it under wraps. So we never had real proof that Hitler was dead. So there were sightings everywhere from South America to Brooklyn. <laughs> really? You know, people saw somebody who looked like Hitler and said, you know. Like Marathon Hell, Man. when I was a kid after World War II, I saw a guy in North Beach that looked a lot like Hitler. No, that's Gino. That's, was, yeah, that's right. Gino. That's Gino, Gino and Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I, uh, they, they, but they say that here's what the scenario is. The, the main street there, right outside the bunker, was wide enough for an airplane to fly in and was, in fact, being used as a landing strip. And where was this bunker? And, and that they took off in a plane and they went to Norway where they got into a German U-boat that pretty well didn't surface until it got to South America. That's the theory. It's entirely possible. You know. He did keep a low profile, though. You gotta, you gotta give him that. You know, you saw what happened to Eichmann. Well, I yeah. mean, where did all those Germans wind up? Uh, a lot of them in our. Uh, uh, Eichmann wound up down there. Uh, Bormann. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Bormann wound up down there. Uh, and uh, Brazil or Bolivia? I think it was Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. The boys from Brazil. Remember the yeah, Ira Levin yeah, movie? Yeah, book? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know. So I'm I'm claiming Hitler's still alive. I mean, ooh, he's very ooh. old. Yeah, he's very, very old. old. <laughs> of course, they did have the good Nazi scientists, so they might have been able. He's probably just a head in a jar. It's, it, probably a Marvel comic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. so, so they always love to uh, begin their stories in the Nazi. Yeah, yeah, era. yeah, yeah. Magneto and uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I hear, you know, I, I keep thinking about going back to San Francisco, uh, you know, I mean, just to visit, uh, but I'm afraid to. Why? Well, because I kind of get the idea, okay, and this is a, a please uh, disabuse you of the notion. Disabuse me of the notion that it's really a terrible town right now. You know what? Uh, Twitter went public like two yeah. and a half years ago. Yeah. 20, Mind if I blow 20, my nose. No, please do. Uh, 2015, 2016. And because they had been paying their kids in shares, when they went public, nine months after that, when all their shares were vested, a million, no, a thousand millionaires hit the streets at one time. So property values are ridiculous. But it's all centered east of Van Ness and south of Market. So I live out in the, the suburbs. Right, right. I live out in the Sunset District. You, you know, prices have risen maybe 10%. You really can't tell that much. out. It, you know, I don't live in the city of San Francisco. I live in the county right. of San Francisco. Right. Right. So, you know, it's it's the same city. You know, you can't... A lot of stuff is gone that used to be there that used to hold and cleave under your heart, and a lot, it's different, but that's the price of living in uh, the city. Wow. Wow, because uh, I, I talked to Bubbles, and I lived in the marina, and he says that that's been impacted too. A little bit, you know. Well, I mean, the been, Richmond has been impacted. I, mean, I lived in an apartment in which I was paying for two apartments, a little under three thousand a month. Yeah, that's for two not gonna, apartments. That's not going to happen. And now, uh, Bubbles says that maybe those apartments are uh, four four thousand each. Forty five. Forty five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know where I live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Used to come there all the time. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, that, that's that's a pretty big jump. I can't afford to live there anymore. Well. And you probably couldn't afford to live in that no. part of town either. No, not in that part of town. You know. No. And but the Sunset District, you can still get an apartment for 2800 you know, you know if we a one-bedroom. If we ever get evicted out of this place, uh, it's bye-bye to New York City. Where would you go? I don't know. We, I mean, we, who can afford New York City no, anymore? No, Actually, but. girlfriend has an, another apartment she owns. Where? Uh, over on the... Uh, on the east side? The east, uh, Upper the, east side? The west side. Oh, west side. West side. And... Um, yeah, you were appointed west. Yeah. And um, we could live there, but it's very small. Yeah, what would you, you know? do with all your Yeah, stuff? yeah. So, you know, and girlfriend works. So, uh, but we couldn't afford New York City. Come on. No. 
I mean, even a, you know, a, a, well, I'm not paying anything here, but this apartment probably, if we finally do come up on a rent, rent stabilized should be about $1,500 a month. Okay, that's rent stabilized. Uh, that's what we're fighting for. Uh, so if it were 1500 a month, fine, I'm here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But if all of a sudden they want to raise it to, you know, market seven, value. 7500 or yeah. something like that, forget it. I'm, I, can't, I, can't, I can't afford it. There's nowhere in New York City I could afford to live. I can't, you can't get a studio apartment for, you know, 2000 a month. Well, the same thing that's happening here where all the, the hipsters and the kids are moving to Brooklyn is happening in San Francisco. They're all moving to Oakland. But now oh. Oakland is getting a little gentrified. So I don't know where they go. Detroit, Vallejo. Yeah, know. you can't afford Marin County, can you? No, no. Mill Valley is ridiculous. Really? Sausalito, yeah. You How can go you to go San, Rafael. Yeah, yeah. San Rafael. How about San Anselmo? Uh, you know, the closer you are to the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, that's a little further from the bridge. Yeah. San Anselmo. Yeah, it's right. It, it's almost parallel to. Uh, you go down what we call the Miracle Mile. Or as I used to say when I was a kid, it's a miracle if you get off this mile. <laughs> There's a mile of, of road called the Miracle Mile between San Rafael and San Anselmo. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, you know, so you're talking north of the Civic Center. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But no, not we're not north of San Rafael's not north of the Civic Center. The Civic Center is north of San Rafael. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So is San Anselmo north of that, or is it? No, before? it's about the same parallel. Yeah, you, you know. Okay. I think. And then there's Fairfax. There's Fairfax. Which is a and, gorgeous little hippie town. Yeah, which is one town too far, so it's probably still reasonable. Yeah. All right? I don't know, man. Healdsburg is ridiculous. But then you get out past Fairfax, and you've gotten the land that time forgot, you know? I mean, uh, that was my favorite place to go driving, because you'd go driving through the woods and, you know. St. Francis. Yeah, Sir Francis you go Drake. out, yeah. Marin County is outside of San Francisco, and you go past all the very livable areas, all the areas where people live, and suddenly you get into just complete woodland. It's you called know, West Marin. West Marin. It's, yeah. a, it's where uh, Lucas uh, yeah. has his... Uh, Who conveniently put his place on Lucas Valley Road. Yes, he, it was Lucas Valley Road before he was yeah, ever yeah, there. Yeah. And I wonder what part of him went... Where shall I build it? Oh, Lucas Valley Road. It's named. I, everybody will think it was named after me. I've never been there. Uh, you never been to Skywalker no, Ranch? No. I've, I've been there Always several times. Oh yeah. You all. One time I went there to work on something, and another time I voiceover? was invited to lunch over there. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did some voiceover work. Uh, there's a movie called Strange Days. I love Strange Days. Yeah, well, you know there's an announcer. With Ray the, Fiennes? You know there's an announcer at the very beginning. Oh, really? Uh, uh, announcing the end of the world or whatever. No, no, Millennium. Or millennium or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's doing a talk show. And they brought me in to wild track that because uh, they needed some. They needed just as a, a temp track. And they sent it down to what's her name, Catherine Bigelow, who directed the movie. After they heard me do it, and said this guy's perfect for it. So I walked out of it. They said, I'm, "We're sending this to Bigelow and saying this is the one they should use. They shouldn't even hire an actor. You're perfect because you're a talk show host." And they sent it down to Bigelow, and she turned it down. She didn't like it. So I didn't. I just got paid for the uh, going tracking. out there and doing yeah. the wild tracking for it. Yeah. However, I did wind up in another movie. I was in George Clooney's first movie. What was his first movie? One Fine Day. Oh, yeah, with, uh, what's yeah. her name? He wakes up in the morning and Michelle his Pfeiffer. clock radio goes off. Yeah, yeah. And it's me. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have to do anything. They simply asked if they could use the track. Do I get paid for it? No. Yeah. Do I get credited for it? No. Really? Yeah. So I'm at the very beginning. You have to listen very closely. If you've got surround sound, turn the front speakers off. <laughs> And that was my movie career. I was in Jack. You were in Jack? What did you uh, do in Jack? I played a, a motorcycle cop and Francis Ford Coppola. I got to have lunch with him, but they cut my scene. I, I just couldn't the be really? big enough for him. Yeah. No, oh, wow. I know. Too bad. I and know. you had lunch with him? I had lunch Who with him. Who paid for lunch? Oh, he did. It was oh, okay. on set. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Craft services. Yeah. Now, your wife's been in a lot of them. She was in Nightmare Before Christmas, which was also a Disney movie. And she had three voices in Nightmare Before Christmas. 
She was in it, Greg Proofs, Glenn Walters, a lot of guys that we know from San Francisco were yeah. in it. Because Henry Selleck directed it in San Francisco. It was produced by Tim Burton. And he's so jealous of, of the fact that he didn't direct this movie. He keeps trying to replicate it with uh, Frank and Weenie. And, uh, well, Frank and Weenie, the, he did as yeah, a film yeah, that for was his, Disney. Yeah. Yeah, they got him thrown out of Disney. Oh, really? Initially, yeah. When I thought that was like his uh, THX 1138. Well, it was. Yeah, but he did. He what he was doing is one of the. What happened was they realized that the the old men at Disney were dying off, and that they had to bring in some new blood, and so they brought in a whole bunch of new blood to work side by side with the what they called the eight old men. I think it was the eight old men, uh, and. Uh, Burton was one of them, and one of the things they had to do as a as a project was a film, to do a short film, okay? So uh, he went out and he did this thing called Frankenweenie, which is a brilliant concept. It's the old Frankenstein story, but it's a kid's dog who dies. A dachshund. And, and he, he loves him so much, he wants to bring him back to life, so he reads all these science books and brings him back to life. It's a beautiful idea for film. Disney looked at it and said, this is horrible, it's too dark, it's not Disney, goodbye, you're out of here. And wow. they kicked him out of Disney wow. for it. So years later, he's a big director, and guess what Disney has him make a movie out of? Frankenweenie. Frankenweenie, yeah. And yeah. if you last long enough, you can be ahead of your time. And by the way, it was a flop. Yeah, it didn't work. Didn't work. Corpse Bride didn't work. He keeps trying to replicate the success because, you know, that was his yeah. idea, Nightmare Before Christmas was his idea, all the characters and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so Debbie did voices for that, and it's very popular. She constantly gets letters from people who are collecting autographs of all the people who were in the movie, and yeah. she signs the photos wherever they are. So she gets a royalty check like once every three months. Yeah. And I get a royalty check from Jack once every three months. And and um, one time a year, her check is like for, you know, two grand or something, and then it's $300, the other three. And my checks are always $2.36. Really, what are yeah. hers? Yeah, hers are, you know, a couple grand sometimes. Really? So, so we get the checks at the same time, because Disney puts them out, so she'll go, oh, I, I got a royalty check from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, you get a check too. What she, <laughs> she just rubs it in. Uh, I, I, I have I gotten some for like fifteen cents or something like that. I, what I did was, I did two things, and every now and then, all of a sudden, a royalty check will show up. One was HBO's One Night Stand, right, right, which they keep running because they've got their you know online services and so on, and so they run a lot of those. those and you did things. the voiceovers and the I, introductions. I, the first, the first uh, eight shows, yeah. Uh, and every now and then I'll get a, a check for like, you know, whatever uh, for those. It's not a lot, but it's something. You know, I think I made many, 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 many thousands of dollars over the years off of One Night Stand. And then there was Comedy Tonight. And every now and then somehow I will wind up in a clip that they sell to somebody and uh, there, uh, there's another check for me. But I'm still surprised he hasn't... He, archived those on some sort of channel because they're incredible. Yeah. I mean, the the people that he got, he got Whoopi, he got Bobcat, he got a bunch of people. He got me. He got you. Yeah. <laughs> he got me. But here's the thing that, that, it, that it, it gets to me is that the one person, you know, they had about eight comics that I did the openings yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the one person who I get the most checks off of is the comedian I like the least, Bill Maher. For some reason, because he's still on HBO, they always run his one night right, stand, right. so they keep renewing those. Makes sense. They may put some of the other ones to sleep, uh, but I every about once a year I get a Bill Maher check. You know, so what the hell? It residuals, folks, the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. yeah, and now there's so much production. There's so many TV yeah. channels. There's so many shows being. I, I ask people what their favorite show is, and 
and they tell me, and it's on a platform I never heard of, much less the show title I never heard of. Oh, the best new show I've seen is on a, a platform you probably never heard of. Sundance Now? No, DC Universe. No, never heard of it. It's a pay subscription thing. Oh, it's really? called Titans, and it's a great show. Yeah. How much a month? Uh, well, I'm sliding in on somebody else's oh, subscription. Okay. But so. it's ten bucks a month. It's uh, everything's no, ten bucks no, a month. No, it's uh, five ninety five. I think no, seven ninety five a month. But you see, here's what's happening. I, 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 soon, everybody, like Disney's going to have their own channel, and DC has their own channel, and da, 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 and all these things that you figure, oh, well, I'm only paying 10 bucks for or 9 bucks for. Your, your total bill's going to come to several hundred a month to get all the things you're getting now for almost free. So Yeah, I just want TCM, that's all I want. Yeah, Turner Classic Movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah although they, they canceled their film struck. Yes, I, they, that's what I saw. Yeah, yeah. they had a special uh, channel for classic movies, and it was yeah. almost like uh, the Criterion Collection for movies on, yeah. on broadcast or cable. And uh, they canceled it, and they gave everybody back their subscriptions prorated. Oh boy, too I know, bad. too bad. But anyway, uh, listen. Let me. As long as I got you here, and we can take a little extra time on it, doesn't matter uh, because I've got you here. I may as well use you. Uh, we didn't talk about, uh, haven't really talked about the midterms and the way they turned out. Oh, that's over. That's so over. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your show is called Midterm Madness or whatever, you know. Except for Florida. Except for Florida. Again. Yeah. Again. What is it with Florida? They like, elect vo they like voting and elections so much <laughs> that they extend them past they, their expiration they date. They do. Yeah, they just, oh man, they love to vote. And they love to count votes. What is wrong with Florida? I don't know. Do you have any? I, I live there, and I can't tell you what. We should wrong circumcise with America, cut Florida off at the Georgia border, and kick it into the Caribbean. Well, I, when I was down there, I used to say on the air, "This is the reason I only lasted three months <laughs> in Florida because they don't have a sense of humor about this down there." As I, uh, I said, you know what your state reminds me of. The only thing it looks like is a giant penis. It's hot, it's wet, and the it's main, wrinkled. And the main highway going down it is a huge vein. <laughs> and at the very tip, you've got this uh, drip this called, the, called the Florida Keys, <laughs> which kind of is like a ven probably a venereal disease of some sort. <laughs> and next thing you know, people are going, let's lynch him. <laughs> Solidify. Yeah, it's crystallized ejaculation. That's what, yeah, yeah. That's what the, the keys are. But the, yeah. isn't that what it looks yeah, like? Yeah, it does. You know? Um, it's hot, it's wet, it's wrinkled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's moist. So, but, I mean... Well, there was actually a, a Looney Tunes cartoon where Bugs Bunny does saw off Florida. I remember it. that, yeah. yeah. And I... I, what I've often said is after living in Miami is that they say that because of global warming, eventually the seas are going to rise and half of Florida is going to be underwater. And I said, as long as it takes Miami with it, I'm happy. Were you in Miami at the time? Yeah. Last, <laughs> last time there was a, a big, a big a, a hurricane. Uh, uh, the lower part of Florida got it. And I said, am I supposed to feel sorry? You know, I mean, what? What do you got down there? A bunch of conservatives and a couple of old Jews, and that's it, you know? Uh, the Jeremy Kramer, Jews and Cubans, Jews and Cubans, <laughs> go together like cigars and Rubens. <laughs> Jeremy Kramer. Oh, boy. What happened? What's he doing? I think he's in L.A. I don't know what he's doing. See, these are comics we go, what's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Bob Rubin, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's still doing it. Yeah. You know, there's a bunch of us still doing it. Well, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? I know. What else? What, what spent else? 40 years getting good. <laughs> yeah, you spent 40 years getting good only to be told you're too old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People don't, you know what we don't revere anymore is that with age comes ability. You know, comes virtuosity. Yeah. You know, you as a, as a com comic, and I'm sure I'm going to see this on Saturday night. You will. You were virtuoso, you know, and um, I and I think in my field I'm a virtuoso too. As well. But nobody will listen to me when I call them up and say, "Hey, you know, I'm really looking for a job." You, uh, you know who gets a pass on that? Who? That ageism, blues artists. Blues oh, artists oh, can oh, be you, as you, old you, as they you, want you, to be. No, in fact, 
You can't be a young no. Blues Robert artist. Cray is just coming into his own. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he hit sixty. <laughs> oh, it, it, at twenty they go. He plays terrible harmonica. <laughs> plays terrible harmonica. Oh, hey, listen to him now. He's yeah, the best yeah, he's yeah. ever been, and he's playing the same harmonica he was when he was twenty. You know. Also, uh, if you're going to be a blues artist, you have to poke your eyes out. Blind Melon Le uh, Jefferson? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not willing to go I was going to name myself far. Blind Lemon Pledge. <laughs> Blind <laughs> Lemon Pledge? Uh, no, I, I'm not willing to do that. But I'll, I'll tell you, I've been doing political comedy. And when I started out doing it, I started out doing it yeah. in 74. It was the end of Watergate and Vietnam and Nixon and, you know, all sorts of stuff. And, uh, yeah, and so I... I started doing political material. I didn't do, you know, exclusively, not until I moved to San Francisco, and that's when uh, Reagan had a, you know, Reagan made comedy, political comedy fun. Right. You couldn't make fun of Jimmy Carter, you know. If, it, it, you were mean, you know. Well, years ago, I remember Mort Saul, uh, who was, of course, a, a great um, political comic. Still is. Uh, when Eisenhower was president, he was having a great time, but the minute Kennedy became president, he said, there goes my career. Well, he wrote for Kennedy on the campaign. Yeah. And then in 1961, after Kennedy was inaugurated, Dad, who he knew well, Joe, McCarth uh, Joe uh, Kennedy, mm -hmm. Joseph, uh, the, the Scotch runner, not the rum runner, but uh, he came supposedly to Mort Saul, and said, stop picking on John. And Mort said, hey, dude, that's my gig. And and Joseph Kennedy went to all these club owners and said, don't don't uh, don't hire this guy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Supposedly he went to Enrico and said, don't hire him. And Enrico said, screw you. This guy helped build the Hungry Eye. So Joseph Kennedy supposedly went to the city of San Francisco, knew somebody, and got uh, all the back receipts for the Hungry Eye and had it reclassified as a nightclub instead of a restaurant because they were paying taxes as a restaurant, but they didn't sell enough money to qualify as a restaurant, not a percentage of their, of their uh, yeah. revenue was. So they were retaxed, and it was like $500,000. Right. Wow. Just because wow. he hired Mort Saul. Hmm. Yeah. And then Mort got bitter and became a, a right winger for a while. Yeah, kind of. he, yeah, he's still bitter. He's yeah. oh, he's. I hear he's very bitter. He appears every Thursday night in Mill Valley, at the one forty two Throckmorton Theater. Yeah, which is where you should have your reunion. Yeah, like he. Let me ask you this, Saul. Does he still have his chops? He has some chops. He has some chops. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does, you know. I mean... He's, he's like 90. Yeah. Because we were just talking about how as you get older, you get virtuosity, but sometimes you can get too old and you... Can, yeah, can and you know, talk. comedy's a, a limber, nimble sort of well, the uh, only thing, verbal Well, the thing. only thing you might lose with age as a comedian is timing. All right, no, he still has timing. Oh, he's really? He still has timing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because he's all cadence and rhythm and scan. You know, and yeah. and also deep thoughts. Yeah. You know, he yeah. throws some deep thought. Me, I'm just surface. I'm like a well, this, like a flat stone. This guy is uh, is Will Durst, and uh, he's here in person. I'm right here in now. New York, and, and he's here in New York. Let me let me uh, take a picture of you there, so they can see. Tuesday through Sunday, yes, at the best little theater in Times Square. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me, Mister. That's Will Durst. Great scene, uh, the grand, uh, the grand apartment of which I have heard so much. <laughs>
Okay, so far, so far, having a perfect night. I really probably should move this camera over a little bit this way. Then when I look directly into it, I look like I'm looking directly into it. There we go. That's so much better. Let me see here. Let me uh, let me open up the uh, Skype lines. Hold on a second. I, I don't do this uh, uh, before I uh, it's time to go because some people try to call. Like last night, Will, I mean Will, uh, 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 um, Jack Bishop wasn't on. I always have to remember his name because I know him by another name. Jack Bishop wasn't on. He took the night off, okay, uh, which is fine. He's he's welcome to. He has a had a funeral to go to, and so there's about three days of I don't getting there, and I don't know. Do black people sit shiva. I don't know. Anyway, um, and uh, so I'm sitting here, and I. I had some trouble turning off the Skype last night, so I was fiddling around with it to kind of set it up, and all of a sudden, uh, what's his name? Uh, one of, I'm, uh, Mike Allen is calling, and he knows that Jack was going to be off last night, that he was off the night before, and then Amy Manuel is trying to call, and I had to hang up on both of them, but the reason I don't open up the Skype lines at this point is because what happens is all these people start uh, start uh, calling, uh, even when it doesn't say that I'm available. So you know it, 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 it's not it's not it's not cool. It's not fun. All right. Anyway, uh, our lines are open, folks. So you can start calling if you wish to call. Uh, and uh, if you don't know how to call, uh, you can go to our Skype, uh, our Gabnet uh, page. It, gabnet.net and on the right hand side of the page it tells you all the different ways you can get to call the show you can there's even a phone number too but we prefer you use skype but it tells you how to use all these various things so anyway so now i'm just waiting for people to call uh and i guess is nobody going to call tonight you know i'm starting a little bit late because we had that interview with uh with will and i wanted to run it because i miss having him on and this was a way of having him on, and it happened to be a very good interview. Oh, you know what I got to do? I got to turn. Um, I have to turn this other light on. I didn't do the other light. See, so I get bigger, more. Uh, oh, let me see here. Here we go. Uh, Bill is saying uh, not in green. What do you mean not in green, uh, Phil? Hold on. Now you see. Now I got better light. See, there's always something I forget these days. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I will, I do have the green light, uh, but let's try it again. Let's, let's first, let's go invisible and then let's turn on the green light. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Now, Phil, is it, uh, is it, uh, is it green? Yeah. I can see there was a call declined to Phil for some reason. Uh, come on. Josh Wheeler call. De declined. What is this? What calls declined? Hold on a second. Let me stop. Oh, here we go. That's in uh, this Phil Meyer call declined. Uh, yes. Okay. It's it's green now. Okay. You see, but they were having trouble getting people. Oh boy. Uh, let me let me. Uh, okay. There, here comes Vernon Nunn. Now, Vernon is not having trouble getting in, but uh, Phil is, so I, I don't know. Let me see here. Uh, cancel. Let me try Vernon now. Let me see here. Come on. Come on. Double click. All right. All righty. Okay. There we go. And there's Phil. And uh, there's Josh Wheeler. There we go. There's Josh Wheeler. Um, uh Oh, I uh, once once Vernon called, then it kind of opened it up. Well, I, I Vernon was fine, well, but hold on. Yeah, a second. Well, Ver oh, I shut I up a know. second, will you? While I get these people up here, okay? I can't I do can't two things at once. Oh, talk and rub your head. At this the is table. fine. They're not showing. They're not showing up. Oh, wow, they're not showing up. Oh, I give up on this. This is terrible. A restart Skype. Uh, I might have to do that, but let me. Let me try it one more time here. Oh, there we go. We got Scuba Diver. That's okay. me. Okay. 
So you should be there, okay? But you're not popping up. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I see everyone. I know, I, that's fine, but I can't get them okay. here. That's the problem. Uh, there's Scott Potaker, it says. And it's, it's, uh, not, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, gosh, let, me, uh, let me close off uh, Skype right. and you guys can call again. Oh, this is terrible. I hate this. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, Josh Wheeler. You know, he, he, okay. Let me, let me see. Let me close this down. Let me get rid of it. In fact, let me sign out. Okay, I'm going to sign out, right? And then I'm going to sign back in. All right? Uh, Gabnet Live. And then I'm signing back in. And um, we're, oh, we're, we're signed in. Okay, we're signed back in. All right, now, it is, uh, people start to call, okay? Okay, there we go. There's Vernon Nunn. Now, let me see if he shows up. Oh, let's hope he shows up. No, it's not showing up. Hmm. Hold on a second. I know it might, no, that's not the problem. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, fuck. Quit. Let me stop that a second. Let me start this up again. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we got Phil Meyer in here. Um, we got Phil. Answer Phil Meyer. Uh, there we go. I think we just answered Phil Meyer, but let's see if we get him. Uh, yeah. uh, no, we, we're not getting anybody else. This is terrible. I, I know. I know what evening. the. I know what the. I know what the problem might be. I know what it might be. Hold on a second. Sometimes these things upgrade themselves and they screw me over. Okay, and I have to have this uh, this thing turned on. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Here, come here. Okay, files, uh -huh. preferences, uh, calling, uh, advanced, and the NDI isn't on. That's what it is. Okay, but I can't turn it on. Uh, okay, everybody hang up, and I will try again. All right, okay, we're going to call, we're going to quit Skype. There we go. And now we're going to start Skype up again. And what I got to do is before these people sign in, come on. Well, Skype. Wait a minute, quit Skype. Okay. All right, quit Skype. Let me hold on. Quit. Oh, this is going to go on all night, right? It's not quitting on me. Quit Skype. All right. Okay, Skype, sign out. Okay, we're signed out. It's not even allowing itself to sign out. Okay, let me do something here. Let me go to force quit and let me have it make it quit Skype. Force quit Skype. Okay, force quit Skype. There we go. Is it going to? There we go. Now it's quit. Now let me start Skype up again. And we'll see if it, uh, if it works. Okay. There we go. And now first I have to go over here to settings. And then I have to go to calling. And then I have to go to advanced. And then I go to here. There we go. All right. Now I think we can do it. See, folks, this is why I hate doing this. All right, everybody, start calling me. I think we're going to be able to get you on now. What happens is, is it's Skype, and whatever they do, okay, here comes Josh Wheeler, all right? And uh, then if I look, once Josh is, um, there we go, once we got his picture, I can double-click on that. Okay, let's go with Vernon Nunn, too. I can go here. Here we go. Now I got Josh Wheeler. Okay, and I got, uh, let's see here, I got uh, Vernon Nunn, where are we? Oh, come on, uh, Phil just called, okay. We got Vernon Nunn, okay. Uh, I'll explain what the problem was in a second here. Hold on a second, where, 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 oh, Vernon, 
Yeah, the problem was there. that you jinxed yourself. You said, uh, so far it's been perfect. Yeah, so far it's been perfect. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, don't, I don't know why I'm not getting Vernon in here. Uh, let's do, let's do uh, uh, Phil. Let's see if he comes up. No, he doesn't come up either. That's strange. Okay, let did, me see. Did it do an update? I, I, you know something? I have no idea. Hold on a second. This is not. It, it, oh, this is this is just. Oh, I hate this. I just hate this. I hate well, you this. come up, so you no, stay on, and it, we'll it, have an audio show. It doesn't matter, but I mean, I want to get you guys on, and uh, I can't uh, seem to get you guys on. I, I bring up Scuba Diver, I put him on. Uh, there he is, and I go okay, and he doesn't pop up. You know, this is this is very strange. Let me check something else here. Yeah. Uh, hold on, folks. If you're not, if you, if this is boring you, uh, then too bad. Uh, too bad. <laughs> Go somewhere else. I, you know, uh, I I give up on this. Uh, uh, let's see here. Advanced. Okay, the NDI is on. All right, so it should work. Uh, I'm gonna hang up on you guys one more time, and, right. and and we'll ask you to call again and hope that it works this time. Okay? All right. Bye. Uh, there we go. Now we sign out. There we go. Um, and now we're gonna sign in again, and we're gonna attempt it again. This is, you know, th this is uh, this is still a. A, a bad work in uh, in progress, um, but let people try and call. And let's see what happens. Um, okay, everybody, let's see what happens. Let's see if we if we actually get a uh, um, stuff working. Okay, here comes Phil. All right, so I take Phil and I attempt to put him in. Let's say. And here comes Vernon Nunn, and I answer that one. And okay, first of all, let's take uh, 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 um, Scuba Diver and put him in there. Okay, all right. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go? No. All right. Oh boy. Well, we got you on the YouTube, and you know, I think people will be satisfied with that. This is uh, this is disgusting. No, I, I can't put up with this. I really can't, you know? I just, I have had it. You want to reboot this. your thing? No, there's nothing to reboot. I've Not rebooted Skype, everything. Not Skype, but the whole deal. I don't need to re-Skype, uh, reboot any. What do I need to reboot? Well, because something's... NDI? Nice. Well, he No, did NDI has been rebooted, you know? OBS? Uh, huh, OBS? Uh, I, if I do that, I cut out the show. Yeah, but you can no, start and I game. don't think the OBS is causing it, you no, know, because no. it did bring up uh, Vernon at the at, yeah. er, at uh -huh. an earlier point, uh, and uh, uh, you know, so uh, and now I'm having the same problem again. Mm. Wow, wow, and we're getting Jeff Stein calling up here, uh, and I'm sure I can't get Jeff to be in here. You know, I don't. Uh, oh, there we go, Stein Zeller. Let's see what happens if anything happens. There he is. Okay, now let me go to the second one. Let me go here. Let me see, and let's try and. But nobody else except Stein Zeller is listed in there. Oh boy, I give up. I give up. This is this is all fucked. This is really all fucked. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, what am I gonna do here? Let me. You can hear me now. Can't what? You? I'm gonna you hang can... up on everybody again. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna stop NDI. Okay. It's nothing that's not happened to me before. Uh, you know, what? Getting hung up on. Uh, it's nothing that hasn't happened to me before getting hung up on. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is ridiculous. This is, yeah. you know. If All I, right, if well, I can't call back. Okay. Uh, I'll listen to you okay. and wait for you to tell us. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take this and I'm going to open up GabNet Live. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to go here to the settings. And I'm going to make sure that the oh, NDI is on. NDI is on. But let me try it again. Let me try this. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Everybody try calling again. Let's see if anything happens. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to just quit the whole thing tonight. This is this is absurd, you know. This is not is not good. Not okay. Here comes Phil. All right, and uh, Vernon is is I think. And there you are, Phil. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. And uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see. Oh, there you are in the second place. Well, let's see if somebody else calls. If we can put Vernon. In another place, let's see here. Okay, Vernon Nunn, there he is. Okay, and uh, we need uh, someone else to call. Okay, uh, 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 should have Josh and Jeff in the wings. Jeff, Jeff, call us. Here comes Josh Wheeler. Well, let's see if this works. Okay, here comes Josh. Okay. Let me put him up here. Let me see if he if he shows up. There's Josh. Let me see if we can get him on there. Uh, it's all working now. It's working now. Okay, and here comes Jeff Stein. I don't know what the hell happened, folks. Tell you the truth. Um, but uh, let me see here. Jeff Stein. Let me see if Stein Zeller. There we go. Okay. Pop in. There we go. Oh, ah, it's working, folks. We, we lost some people during that whole thing. Anyway, here we uh, go, folks. There you go. There they are. I don't know yeah. what the problem was, you know. Uh, well, and I during can, all I, of this, you huh? had two thumbs up on YouTube. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, here comes Bree. Let's see if we can get Bree in there in the mix, okay? Let me see here. That would be, he would be in the number five spot. Let me see here. Bree, okay, there he is. They're all, com they're all coming through now. Let's see if he, there he goes. We don't have a picture on him because he doesn't have his camera on. Hello, Bree? Bree? Are you there, Bree? Yes, hello. Yes, Ooh, can you turn on your camera? Uh, just getting out of the shower, so give me a few minutes. Oh, please. okay. <laughs> That's the privacy curtain we have there. Yeah. Okay, well, now we got it all working. I don't know what he's the... so dedicated that he calls when he's in the shower. I don't know what the problem... Yeah, I called because you said you needed one more person or something. Well, well I mean, don't feel... T don't take pity on me for crying out loud. <laughs> Uh, uh, it isn't a pity party we have here at night, although it is kind of, in a way. Um, I have no idea what the problem was. No problem at all. A lot of I'm going through a lot of PC issues for after the uh, latest update, so that's my morning being wasted. Well, what do you mean? Uh, there's an update for what? Uh, the PCs for Windows? Yeah, well, Windows always has you know various updates, but it just seems the latest one yeah. has sort of messed up two of my. PCs, so I got to go in and figure out what's going on. Yeah, well, I turned off NDI and then I turned it back on, and then it seemed to work. But I, 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 you know, who knows what the problem is? You know, what happens is is that Skype secretly uh, updates you. Okay, I thought uh, you turned that off. N no, 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 they do it anyway. Really? Oh. Yeah. And uh, let's see here. There's Patrick. Hold on a second. Let me just. Let me just uh, put Patrick in here. Let's see if he comes up okay. There would be Darth Pat and uh, all the people. Oh, yeah, I think it's I think it's salt. Oh, there we go. Boom. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling better now. Ah. Uh, if it isn't what everything was going perfect tonight, and then everything went wrong. Okay. So, 
what have you. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry for the audio people because all they were getting was me trying to fix things, you know. At least the video people could see whether something was happening or not happening. So, Anyway, how are you all tonight, gentlemen? You all wonderful. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to see you and uh, Pamela this weekend. That's right. On, on Sunday, we're coming out. We're coming, going up to Connecticut and uh, have lunch with you guys. So yeah. it'd be, be nice. Yeah. Looking, Hopefully the weather will be good and we'll have a great time. Yeah, well, the weather looks okay. You know, it looks to be all right. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's good. It's good. Uh, I haven't taken the train in New York in uh, 30 or 40 years. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, to go, you said that you could go from 125th Street and take a train that took you close to Jeff's place. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the Croton Harmon line, uh, or is that a different one? I used to take Croton Harmon up no. to Peekskill. No, that's not no. it. No. no, I don't go that way. No, no. this I is towards New Haven. This is whatever okay. goes through Harlem. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But hey, what the Croton Harmon line went through Harlem. Well, too. this comes out of Grand Central Station. Yeah. As yeah, so did that. Yeah. So, you know. But I, that, I like taking the train. It was it was well, you know. Yeah, nice. I don't mind taking the train. It's it's very uh it's very relaxing. You know. Yeah. It doesn't I used to steal those paper cup cones. I don't know what I would do with them. But, uh, you know, in, in the bathroom for water, mm. uh, they, they had these little cones, paper cups, but they were cones, so you couldn't set them down. Yeah. But you could steal them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I've, I had, I've, had, I've had all kinds of problems, okay, today. Uh, first of all, first of all, I, just before I came on the air, uh, uh, um, Apple sends me a thing saying, you're... ATM card has been removed from your Apple wallet. I don't know why. So I had to figure out how to put it back on. Which sure it wasn't a, a phishing thing to get you to give you the... No, 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 no. This was the real deal. It, I didn't have my ATM card in there any longer. So I had to reinstall it. And you play hell trying to figure out how to reinstall this fucking thing. But I, find, I did it, so... That, but, but the, earlier today, there were two things um, uh, I had to call on. I had to call Fios on something because Fios was going, to begin with, they were going wonky today. First, their whole internet went down. Then set a lot of the, uh, uh, then all the uh, liberal news channels disappeared. Very good. It was, uh, it, yeah, I was like, it was like I was thinking, you know, is this some kind of Trump plot, right? Uh, to because MSNBC went off and CNN went off. Those were the two welcome, channels. Welcome to Trump TV. It was Trump TV, right? <laughs> so Marjorie and I started watching Fox, and we and we both agreed it was like we went into another world. You got educated. No, it wasn't. We didn't get educated. <laughs> believe me. Uh, yeah, we, we, we they attempted to indoctrinate us, but <laughs> no, it wasn't education. It was indoctrination. Uh, and how, did, how did they get that little thing under your skin? Huh? Uh, I, you know, not, that, that, that little chip. How I did they get idea. it under your skin when you watch it? Anyway, forget that. Okay. So the, the, so, uh, uh, the other reason I was calling Fios was that I couldn't go online on their, on their browser, you know, on their online presence to, like, change my Wi-Fi settings. Because you can like change the name of the Wi-Fi, you can change the password, and it wasn't coming up. It was it was having problems. Oh, there you're, sh you're showing us the updates on your PC. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, but I finally got a hold of him, and he said, "Oh, that browser thing is fucked. Use your uh, use your app." And I went to the app, and the app it was just fine. So he solved my problem. Now here comes the other thing. By the way, is it upgrading itself? Is that what it's doing, Bree? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can... Well, because... See, that computer yeah. down here, this yeah. one conked out on me. I think the power supply or something. I can't figure it out, but it reset. Mm -hmm. So I'm using... That's a Core i7. This is my Core i5 that I'm currently using. Yeah. And I haven't used it in a while. Yeah. So then I have over here, I have my... This is my Core i7 8th Gen laptop. This is my latest puppy. So I'll I'd say you have way pinch. too many computers, but I've got at oh, least uh, I've got three, three other in laptops here. over here, and uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Are, are, are these old Soviet computers that you're still buying? No. <laughs> no, they're American. Yeah, they're American. Anyway, so now here comes the other thing. So I get a thing from uh, Amazon. Well, who's, whose audio is that? Okay. I get some... Uh, Hold on a second. Oh. Let me let me just try and kill that. There's some slapback. Go go on there. Okay. Oh, now we're fine. Uh, so I uh, uh, I get this thing from from uh, where do you call it? From uh, Amazon, saying, "Well, we never received the uh, the hard drive that we credited you for." Uh, so if you don't do something about it within the next couple of days, we're going to charge you for it. And I went, I sent them back. I got a receipt that says that I got them. So now I call Apple. I mean, not Apple, but Amazon. To show you how bad Amazon has gotten, I get this guy in, I know, Bangladesh. Who knows where he is, okay? Okay. And as we're talking, all of a sudden, there's all this screaming and yelling going on behind him, like there's a party going on, like it's it's the Christmas party at at, uh, at tech support, right? And I said, "Pardon me, I can't even hear you. Can you have those people hold it down?" And he said, "No, I can't." <laughs> what? It was a coup, a coup in Bangladesh. No, I, no, all I'm saying is this was the most unprofessional thing that I have ever encountered in my whole time of, you know, calling up a company to get some results on something. And I had this happen one time before when I was talking to Amazon, and there were all these people having a party in the background. What, what the fuck is that all about? So finally I said to the guy, let me talk to an American. That's what you just tell them. Let me talk to the United States. And the next thing you know, you've got, you know, an American talking to you and trying to solve your problem. And she quickly, she looked at everything and she said, oh, that looks like it's a mistake. I'm going to make sure they don't charge you for that and blah, blah, blah. And uh, all of that it was very nice. And then I said, before I leave you, uh, the, the people I was ta were talking to before it was like they were having a party in the background. <laughs> and she says, oh, that. I said, what do you mean? She says, on occasion, they turn people over to me, and in the background, I can hear people yelling and screaming and having a party. And I said, well, you know, somebody at Amazon should do something about that because that's really unprofessional behavior. They're you know? all at the party. I thought yeah. you were in favor of parties at work, you know? Well, I mean, yeah, yes, but not when it's in technical support. Not when you're trying to get, you know, when, hello, this is Amazon support. Can we help you? But in the background, you hear, hey, we're having a party back here. Hey, well, let's have, yay. I mean, it was that kind of thing. I wish I had a recording of it. You wouldn't believe it. Those people don't make a lot of money. You got to keep them motivated. You know, there, there's a company. I, I'm doing a job for somebody that just bought a condo, and she works for a company that makes sure that P, uh, rates how peop, how happy people are in their job at a particular company. Yeah. You know what the you know what the atmosphere is like, and yeah. and, and so forth. And uh, so I said, well, at my company, I just tell them that the beatings will stop when the morale improves. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, they I actually, actually I got to tell, tell you a great story. When I was working at WMCA in New York, uh -huh. uh, we had maybe a, a, the worst woman in America running a radio station. She Ruth was, she was No, she was, she was uh, Strauss's wife, Ellen Strauss. Oh. Ellen Strauss Sulzberger. She was one of the New York Times family, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, she held a meeting one day. And I, uh, 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 morale around that place was terrible by this time. It was just horrible, okay? And she held a meeting. She got everybody together, and she says, it has come to my attention that uh, the morale at this uh, organization is terrible, and people are very depressed, and that uh, you're all having low morale uh, at at, uh, at WMCA, and everybody went, yeah, yeah kind of, yeah. And she says, well, if morale doesn't pick up soon, heads are going to roll. 
<laughs> I swear to you. I swear to you. Well, morale certainly picked up after that. You know. <laughs> but that's perfect case of, 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 of boosting morale. But I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, all these companies that I have in the past relied on as being pretty good companies and that I could look at and say, hey, you know, not bad. You know, they really know how to run a company. I mean, we all kind of said Amazon was knew how to run the business, right? They, they, they've lost their edge. They've lost all the good stuff about them. You know, well, things go wrong. I, I ordered the, something the today for the store. Yeah. And uh, it said next day delivery. Yeah. Now it's not coming until the 25th. <laughs> Bezos is enjoying his honeymoon. He has to, you know, buy some more diamonds and stuff. Yeah, for that for that girl. So right. Right. he's not. On, he used to be on the phone. He would go on customer support, and you know he would know what's going on. Now I think he's kind of like, all right, I got a couple billion, I got a new couple. check. I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna take some time off here. I mean, every time I look on the online, he's with her and she's on some bikini and they're eating some fancy dinner. So <laughs> I don't. I think he's left the shop. Well, he may have left the shop, but the fact is, uh, you know, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't this bad several months ago. It just seems to have just That's gotten worse recently. The- you think it's because of Lauren Ambrose or whatever her name oh. is? Not Lauren Ambrose. Sanchez. Lauren uh, Sanchez. Sanchez. And, oh yeah. Really? You know, they Julian usually spice and everything nice. They usually say, like with a ship, if the first captain is a really good captain, the culture in the ship continues, and no matter which captain comes in, it continues to run uh, like a clock. Mm -hmm. Uh, You you would think that Amazon uh, got set up with the right culture and things were moving along, and it it wouldn't necessarily... hmm? That was Mackenzie Bezos. Yeah. Oh. Maybe that was it. I mean, the ex-wife. Oh, with, with you, think, wife, you think man. maybe the ex-wife was was helped? You know, you could be that. Could, you could be right. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. hadn't thought of that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that yeah, makes that's sense. What it is. But boy, I mean, just terrible. But I got this woman who helped me was very nice and and solved the problem. But you know, I'm I'm sorry if you're going to farm out tech, if you know your your sales support and so on, to some other country, make sure that country knows how to speak. The language? That's, that would be for starters. The lady that helped you, was yeah. her name Mackenzie? No. Patrick, <laughs> have, have you uh, have you had this experience at all, or do you shop at, with Amazon? Patrick. Patrick. Uh, yeah. I use them, but I don't talk to them. No, no, I said Patrick. Okay. No, yeah. I use Amazon uh, quite a bit, and mm-hmm. I've... I've never really had to return it. Back, so, yeah. Um, if I have um, credit for something, mm-hmm. um, and it's been fine. But the only I that background noise you talked about. The only time I've ever experienced that is when I get the call from. The IRS telling me that the police are on the way. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. Those type of call centers sound just like what you're describing. So, no, I haven't had any problems with Amazon or, or um, anything like that. Yeah, well, so. well, you know, I, um, um, I, I just don't, you know, I, I, I you know, if this were Christmas, and they were having a Christmas party there, I would understand it, okay? But it's not. And I don't know that it's well, any Bangladeshi was holiday. This, what? Was this recently? The, what? This was today. It's Diwali. Diwali? Oh, that's right. Oh, what is crazy. Diwali? Because it shows up on or my deep, phone. Or Deepavali, if you will. What? Festival of Lights. It's Indian and Indian, South Asian mm-hmm. holiday. It's huge. Goes on for like two weeks. Yeah, well, if, well, don't do it. Do it while I'm trying to get customer service. You know, I mean, well, it, let me tell you, in the Philippines, it's Christmas all day, all the time. I mean, I landed there in, uh, you know, what was it, late September? Yeah. And and I was like, I'm like, why is this restaurant all Christmas music? It's September, you know. Well, and it's basically like, oh, because they don't want to have to ever take their lights down. <laughs> you know. So, 
What have you? And you know, I was eating at the Army Navy uh, store in uh, in Manila. It's their Mexican place. Really good burritos. And there was a a couple. There was a table uh, next to me of some. Uh, girls and guys and uh, they, they came over you know and said are you American and I said yes and they said well can we talk to you and I'm like sure you know and why and they said well because we work at the call center across the street and we so we like to when we can talk in person to an American and learn your accent and learn how you talk we like to do that so well, it's like good. on the job yeah. training at the Army Navy uh, uh, Josh you ever have any experiences with Amazon uh, not really I know one time I called for some tech support on the uh, little uh, Echo Dot device that you can talk to whose name I won't say because then it'll try to ask me what the fuck I want and you'll have to listen to it because it's sitting right over there. Yeah. And uh, I had to end up just figuring out it myself because I called and the guy that I was talking to, I, I couldn't even understand a fucking word he said. Yeah, I mean, after like the first 30 seconds, I was like, fuck it. But if you had called Amazon, say, a year and a half, two years ago, you wouldn't have that problem. Yeah, I, this was, I don't know, six, eight months ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah. They I mean, I didn't have the volume I, of calls. I couldn't either. understand him at all. In fact, now, the last time, yeah, the last time that I had to call our internal technical support hmm. for the company that I work for, which is a very large worldwide company, yeah. I think they let some of those folks who do the night shift work from home, and uh, you could hear him turning down his Muslim prayer music as he picked up the phone. <laughs> it felt kind of shitty because I think I might have interrupted prayer time or whatever oh boy yeah yeah what what is that what if, if you well you're talking about amazon i here uh we don't use amazon what, what is that rattling now? noise what is that somebody's microphone it could be uh i have a uh fan on in the background oh okay um so in dubai amazon bought uh, souq.com s-o-u-q so now it's it's amazon dubai mm -hmm. but amazon has not taken over this market yet we have two uh competing companies one is called lazada mm -hmm. and one is called shopee shopee I've had good, good <laughs> shopee uh, yeah shopee. isn't there a chinese amazon also uh, that has a different yes. name well aliexpress I yeah that's it yeah and uh, and alibaba they i order from aliexpress sometimes um it's kind of like eBay, uh, same with Shopee, whereas Lazada, a little bit more like Amazon. But um, anyway, I ordered this phone two months ago, and it never came. And uh, the it turns out that the, the courier, I don't know, on this particular device, wanted to call me to make sure I was home. And I, I never answer the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm always you know in meetings or something. So, and I always have it on silence. So... I pretty much, I tell them in the instructions, don't call me, just deliver it. Someone will be there. Uh, so anyway, two months later, you know, they kept on sending me this, we can't deliver it stuff. And I kept on saying, just deliver it. And the guy in Shenzhen, China uh, was saying, well, it's in Malaysia. I don't want to take it back now because it's already there. So finally, after two and a half months, they, they're crediting my account and sending the phone back to him because... I don't know, the local courier just doesn't want to deliver it. Meanwhile, they have delivered two or three other items, but just not that phone. So I have no idea why, but wow. strange. The courier is still making calls with it. Yeah. Uh, know, uh, 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 Vernon's been kind of quiet. Vernon, have you had any experience lately with Amazon? I'm finding myself, I'm finding myself uh, using Amazon more and more for... Uh, various things, including some groceries. Uh, okay. There's a particular granola that my wife likes that yeah. she used to buy at the Kroger's, the local Kroger store, stop handling it. Yeah. But, but I can order it on Amazon and get it in two days. Wow. wow. Jeff's been trying to insert. The yes, Jeff. I, I, okay. Yeah. yeah. I should well, really be looking at, the, at this thing rather than at that. Anyway. Anyway, I... Um, I use Amazon and, and they're a pain in the ass, particularly when, yeah. when you have to actually talk to somebody who's, who speaks English. It's, it's incredible. You know what I found you really have to do, Jeff? You have to just say, let me speak to, uh, let me speak to the United States. 
Yeah. And they will, they don't even question it. They don't even pause. They go, okay. And then the phone rings for a little bit and somebody answers and you talk to them and they, they speak perfect English and, you know, they, they, they're very helpful. You can do that. You can opt for that. Uh, and and uh, I should do that from here on in the minute I hear some kind of really foreign accent. Although, Don't you feel bad when you do that? No, I don't. Not at all. But I'll tell you, when I did feel bad, there was a time when I was having trouble with my cable and, and I was always calling. I called somebody. If you do that, uh, uh, it kind of is a dis, uh, disruptive. Distraction. Uh, it's a distraction. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's my groceries. Yeah. Um, no, I wanted to just say uh, and, uh, So I, I was uh -huh. really frustrated because I couldn't get my, you know, the, anybody to believe my cable was glitchy and so on and so forth. And finally, I was talking to this woman, and she had some kind of an accent, and I said to her, what country am I talking to? And she said, Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'll try uh, my best because the guy's working, you know, rather than you know, if it's if it's a pain in the ass, I'll just ask him sometimes to spell the word that he's trying to say or, uh, you know, just uh, slow down, say it again. Uh, I didn't understand. Say it again. You know, it's just as frustrating. But wait a minute. Is it my job? Is it my job to teach them English? Secondly, oh. they shouldn't be frustrated because the company that I am doing business with should make sure that all the people, wherever they're farming out their customer support to, speaks perfect English. Well, the, the guy is working for a living. Why not give him a break? I'm Jeff not going to. I'm not going to give him. I'm, I, no, I'll give him a break. I won't give the company a break. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think as well of Amazon today as I did before I made this call today. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jeff has been raising y his hand. Yes, Jeff. So uh, Pam's uh, grandmother always had this wise uh, report. She would say, "Please, just speak United States." <laughs> Speak United States. Yeah. You know, you guys sound worse than Republicans. <laughs> no, we're not yeah. worse than Republicans. We're talking yeah, about... Yeah, you let all these guys talk on the phone. They got accents. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to get... Uh, I'm trying to get... Um, uh, what do you call it? I'm trying to get uh, uh, something, you know, working. I'm trying to get a rebate or something like that, or I'm trying to solve a financial problem. I don't need somebody who's going to make it more difficult. And the company should care about that. You know, you know. what's difficult is when you got to type of the chat back and forth. Well, that, that I, don't, I, I don't, I don't, I, I do not do very well at that chat stuff. Okay. How, how uh, uh, Patrick's agreeing with me. You agree, Patrick? Yeah, because I always make sure that I write something that they can't answer because I know it's pretty written shit that there's some algorithm that they they scan certain words that you write in and then they give you an answer. And I make sure I fuck it up enough so that they say, uh, would you like someone to call you? And then that's what I want. I don't want to play your games on this chat, and you know, oh. my question, you're not going to be able to answer anyway. So get rid of your fucking chat. Get somebody on the fucking phone, and just what? tell them you're in a wheelchair and you can't type. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do? I go to Google now. I go to Google now, and I say, "Give me the phone number of Amazon support," and it comes right up in big bold letters. Okay. But if you go on Amazon and look for that phone number, you're going to play unlisted. hell finding it. You know, probably unlisted. <laughs> no, I mean it's just it's this, and, that, and then in little print I saw today. If you want to talk to us on the phone, click here. You know, uh. just little little the lettering was so small you could barely read it. You know, they don't want you calling them. I, Even I, the I, chats I, are outsourced. I think what. Even the chat stuff is outsourced, too. Yeah, I'm I mean, sure. You can, you can tell half the time because they'll come on there and be like, oh, my name is Tom, and I'm here to help. But then everything else they write is in, like, broken English and misspelled. And it's like, well, Tom's either a fucking retard or he's in fucking 
you know, Bangladesh, fucking Bangladesh, right? You know, so, I mean, which is it? He lives in uh, retardopia. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> it, Alex, mm. do you look at the New York Times every day? No, not every day. No. Okay. He does the crossword. Uh, I do so the we crossword. Were looking at yeah. The New York Times the other day, and mm -hmm. and uh, Pam showing it to me, and, and it's a letter to the country to this president who we're all arguing about uh, that, that that the president you know screw up this relationship and now the companies are two companies are at war and all of that so Trump wrote a letter to him and I read the letter and I wish I had a copy of it now you couldn't understand it it was like a moron wrote this, like a five-year-old wrote this letter. I and almost, you know, I, I find it hard to believe that Trump even went to school. I mean, all he talks about is, well, I made a deal, and I think we could make a better deal, and uh, and I'm really going to screw you if I don't, if you don't do it right. And that's the deal. Didn't uh, uh, Xiao Ping uh, say uh, today something about crushing the the balls of? Uh, of somebody because of uh, some trade deal. Uh, there was something about crushing balls. Uh, did you hear that? No, mm -hmm. he said crushing bones, and that was for oh. dissent in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. And that was for some, the, uh, oh, they, they were, they're trying to fire. Uh, China wants the uh, coach. And by the way, from, so you know from here on in, Phil, his name is Xi uh, Jinping. Okay, Ping. So anyway, you were you were giving uh, us the, the name of some previous uh, uh, oh. uh, prime minister. Oh, Zhao uh, Ping. Yeah. Okay. Well, they all look alike. But you know, <laughs> the, the thing is, uh, the NBA coach that uh, said something about uh, Hong Kong. Don't you Kong just love him, Patrick? Don't you just love him? <laughs> supporting the freedom of speech, and then uh, the Chi Chinese came down on this guy, and now they they went to this guy Silver, uh, who's I guess uh, the head of the uh, NBA, and they want this coach fired. And uh, Silver said, "No, I'm not going to do that." But now they won't air any of the games that are going on over in China, so there there seems to they seem to be at odds. They don't like free speech, and. Uh, uh, they're, well, uh, nobody. You know, to... wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Phil. It's like you're expecting free speech in China. That's not one of not their. Expect... That's not one of their strong suits. That's right. Well, you know, they... you know. I mean, don't don't even complain about it because it really isn't very good. So know? why do we do business with them? Huh? We we shouldn't do business with them. Trump is right. You know, you got to press. These guys are not fair players the reason that they're pirating our uh we're not software, fair players steal, either phil we're not our, we're uh, not fair players either come on well you know we we respect uh patents and copyrights well that, that's know? only, that's only because sued that's you, only because we have laws on it's only because we have laws against them here but if you don't think that we steal from other countries and their their pat, patents and so on you're nuts we yeah, adapt but, them you what know. what did what did we steal from another we were country? The Snickers bar. We, in fact, we were the original country to steal intellectual uh, property. It was from the Germans, from all of Europe, essentially. If you look at the early American colonies, all the books, all the authors were from Europe. They, we didn't send any money back. That's good. Yeah, the, the, there's we that rattle again. Guys. We're getting from you, I think, Bree. I think it's your fan back on. Oh yeah, sorry. Well, I know you probably need it. Is it hot there? What's the temperature like today? In Fahrenheit. I don't know from Celsius. He's going... <laughs> what? What is it? Um, well, I mean, it, it, it varies. Uh, right now, it's not too bad. We're at 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. It's, it's, is, it humid? is it humid? Uh, yeah, it's like 90%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Hey, can you? Uh, do you have air conditioning? I do. Oh. Okay. But I only I only use that at night to sleep. Oh. Okay. Why Why don't you use it during the day? Um. Well, two reasons. Uh, one of which is uh, actually our humidity is seventy three percent and eighty seven degrees Fahrenheit. Um. Two reasons. One, 
uh, I don't want my electric bill to be too high. Mm -hmm. And uh, two, uh, maybe three reasons. Two, um, I get uh, my dried nose. Out. Yeah, like yeah. everything gets too dried out, and I, I don't know. I just don't feel right. And then third, uh, I think that it's you know contributing to the the bad air pollution and climate change and and uh, increasing the temperature around the uh, apartment. Mm. So, yeah, I just like to I, have the natural. Have you ever tried putting a pot of water or something in front of the air conditioner, so uh, the vent, so that uh, it you know blows past the water and maybe isn't as dry and humid? Yeah, there's there's how oh, dry and well, dry. he can buy he can buy a humidifier, Phil. Yeah, he could, but this is the yeah, this is I've an Irish uh, uh, humidifier. <laughs> I've dealt with humidifiers before and. They all get calcified, and you got to clean them, and then you got to yeah. put the water in. It, it, I just open up my window, and I, I live in a tropical country, so you know it just takes two seconds. You always live home. in hot countries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dubai was no walk in the park when it came to heat, right? Yeah, but right now they have it's dry there, right? They will have beautiful weather. November through March will be. It'll be 75 degrees every day, no oh. humidity, and, per and no clouds in the sky, and perfect everything. And then what happens after that? Well, then it starts to get hot, and by June, July, and August, yeah. Yeah. You, you wouldn't go outside. <laughs> I'm standing up because my underpants are riding up on me. Yeah. Anyway. Um, just don't, just don't, just don't, uh, just don't pull an odom on us, okay? Uh, <laughs> Did you see that on TMZ? No. Lamar Lamar Odom was on Dancing with the Stars, and he didn't realize he was on camera. And he reaches down and starts adjusting his junk. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> and he didn't wash his hands after he took his partner's hand. <laughs> and well, wait a minute, that's isn't that show? If, um, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that show pre-recorded? No, it's live. Oh, it's really? live? Yeah. Oh, so that if is you're... Sean, yeah. Is Sean Spicer still dancing? Yeah, yeah I mean, not unfortunately. I think no, he's... he's he's getting a lot of votes, kind of like Bristol Palin did when she was on the show. Well, Bristol Palin's hot. Really? Yeah. She I wasn't like... a very good dancer, but well, she still matter. got votes. She got yeah. votes. Yeah, I it, thought it... Bristol Palin was good looking. Why? Because all the right wingers voted for her, right? I, well, no, no, yeah. no. They didn't vote for her. This is the daughter of uh, Sarah Palin. I know. So, I said that so the, the right wingers, wingers voted, for voted for her. Oh, oh. Are there any right wingers? Pay attention, that, that Phil. Vote on those shows. Alex to to oh, Phil. Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Patrick, what's new in your life that we don't know about? Nothing. I bought you winter jacket. Huh? I bought a new winter jacket. You bought a new winter jacket. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. So, whoop de fucking do. Right. That's something I haven't uh, had in fifteen years. <laughs> 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 I I haven't either. I I tend to years until they're, they're dead, and I needed a shorter uh, jacket. I've got a three quarter length winter jacket, yeah. but I got tired of. It getting caught in the wheels as I wheel, so I just got a uh, you know waist length one. So you know, Alex, I I was at WMCA one day and I see Frankie Crocker in the hallway and he was wearing a mink coat full length. Yes, I remember, I remember that. I remember that. It wasn't yeah. it was, I don't know if it was a mink, but it was a fur coat. Yeah, I remember that. It was real. It looked real, you know. But you know, what does a seventeen-year-old, sixteen-year-old know? Yeah. 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 I don't even think black people wear those anymore. No. Yeah. The shaft has the leather one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, the, the leather doesn't count. Leather you can uh, wear any time. Yeah, but, but the Frankie Crocker uh, uh, mink stole coat, whatever it was. He, he had a little big little. fur coat. Yeah. 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 yeah I yeah. remember it. You know, uh, he was a uh, he was a dandy of sorts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although we had a guy named Dan Daniel who they called Dandy Dan Daniel, so he was right. actually the dandy. Yeah. By the way, F Frankie Crocker, um, uh, Dan Daniel, and I all had the same birthday. Really? Yeah. I mean, different years, but same birthday. 
Oh. How, what are the chances of that happening? Uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, who's the, the guy that lives in Naples? The, uh, the the nice guy that uh, has the Leica camera. You know, uh, one of the guys that calls the Josh. Show. Uh, not, not Josh. The guy that lives in Naples, Florida. Uh, 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 um, 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 okay. Mark. 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 Yeah. Mark. Uh, His birthday is the same day as mine. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Well, we could say what are the chances of that, but the. Fact is, the chances, I guess, are 100%, right? Yeah. yeah. How much as Lou Gehrig could die of Lou Gehrig's disease? Did Who died of Lou, Lou, Lou Gehrig's disease? Lou Gehrig. Oh, Lou Gehrig, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I found that amazing. I always found that amazing. <laughs> uh, somebody uh, put on the chat, Keith Richards is uh, 1218. 1218, same birthday as me. Yeah. Yeah. So Steven Spielberg. <laughs> the greatest B movie director of our time. Who? Even Spielberg. Spielberg? Yeah, and I don't think. Do you think he would be upset if you said that? <laughs> I don't think so. He'd just look at his bank account and laugh. Yeah, but when when you when you say he's the greatest B movie director ever, explain that to the audience and why you feel that. <clears throat> well, I think it's fairly self-evident. Uh, you, and you're probably better at uh, making an argument for it, Alex, than I am. Well, my argument about Steven Spielberg has always been that he doesn't really have a soul, okay, as a director. And, uh, for instance, I always described uh, Schindler's List as, if you can't be sincere, at least fake it, you know? I, so I just, he's the Roy Cohn of directors? No, what, what does that have to do with it, Phil? You said he didn't have a soul. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, I think, you know, that he is tech, he's got technical aspects. I think he, is, he has clarity in his, in his work. Um, but, yeah, in terms of, you know, any art, artistic uh, nature, no. Well, the thing is, I, the thing is, he, he was a great action director. I, I think one of the best that ever lived. I mean, you don't find pictures more perfect than Raiders of the Lost Ark, as an example. It's a perfect movie. Uh, but he, he attempts to show virtuosity and tries to do serious stuff, and it's just not his, uh, his thing to do. You know? I mean, Lincoln is a crafted picture. That's it. Yeah. Crafted. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what yeah. I would say. Yeah, but I mean, when it came to doing action things, he was incredible, just incredible. You know what we're doing now at home here? We're watching Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, we, I think we've watched, how many films have we watched now? Maybe three or four of his. Uh, and the one thing I, that amazed me about Hitchcock, if you watch him like that, is we watch Vertigo, North by Northwest, and what was the other picture we watched? Watched one other. Um, and Rear what, Window is one of my favorites. Well, Rear Window was the other one, yeah. And I said to Marjorie tonight, you know, we've seen three Hitchcock pictures in the last two days, and they are all different movies, you know? I mean, Vertigo is not like Rear Window, and Rear Window is not like, uh, like uh, North by Northwest. They're different movies, and that's when we think of him as being just one kind of director he really wasn't uh he just did suspense a lot but different flavors of that you know uh and i uh i he you know i watch him and i just see this guy and look at the just the 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 uh, ability at his craft and the control he has over his craft and i'm just i'm just awed by it to this day and the man's been dead for how long now you know, if you want to learn how to make movies, watch Alfred Hitchcock. He'll he'll teach you. Martin Scorsese came out this week and said, uh, doubled down on his uh, Marvel comments. He said, "Marvel is not cinema." Mm -hmm. uh, he likened it to a theme park. Yeah, well, it's you know because they're they're taking uh, the uh, um, uh, the same actors, putting them in every film, and doing the same kind of movie. Oh, wait a minute! Doesn't Scorsese do that? <laughs> 
Didn't yeah. Hitchcock do that? I mean, I, the I saw actors and actresses have, were the same ones. They have the Marvel universe out into like five different phases now, or something. They have it plotted out for the next twenty-five years. Well, they're uh, they're. I think they're being uh, they're being far too hopeful. You know, I think people are getting starting to get sick of Marvel stuff. You know, and they're going to start going for something else soon. Uh, but uh, it was a nice run while it lasted. You know, maybe I'm just an old fart, but Infinity Wars I was I found very confusing. Oh, I found it very confusing too. You know why? It it really it was just it was purely product. And, and you had to have seen all the other films to understand. There were characters popping up in that film, and I had seen most of the other films, who I don't even remember being in any of the other films. <laughs> That's the same way. You know? I, I'm going, way. well, now, who is that character? <laughs> you know, the only one I liked was uh, the Jessica Jones. That, uh, you know, I enjoyed that. That was, that was yeah. a different, yeah. whole different deal, Phil. We're not talking it's not about we're not, it's Marvel, but it's not the Marvel yeah. universe. You oh, know. Well, okay. Well, I don't we're see those. About the I don't... big screen stuff. Huh? Yeah, we're talking about the big screen stuff. Yeah, uh, you yeah. Know. I, I, I sent so you a tr- like that. There's and I so like Lu- I like Luke Cage better than I like Jessica Jones. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next movie I'm going to see, I sent you the trailer for uh, that uh, uh, tonight. Uh, that you know, my you know Stony Jackson, who he called the show once. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I it was a friend of mine, and uh, uh, he he was involved with that movie. It's got Burt Young and uh, Greg Totus uh, is a friend of Stony's, a uh, comedian, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, so I sent you a couple of clips. Uh, I, I sent you the trailer and two shorts that Stony made with Greg Totus. Who's Greg Totus? Katona. Uh he's a uh, comedian. He's, uh, uh, Greg the Greek. Uh, he's. Um, I'll bet you this movie doesn't even make it to prime time. Probably not. No. Uh, he plays a gangster that uh, becomes a comedian, <laughs> a stand-up comedian. Well, we're all going going to go for that one. I can hardly wait till it's with. Well, look at the trailer. I sent it to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, Scorsese made a big deal about that and, uh, you know, how, how dare he try to define what movies are supposed to be? You know, it's a little pretentious on his part. Would you not agree, Josh? I'm trying to bring him into the conversation. I don't watch any of those, a lot of those movies. Really? But what would the Supreme Court say? (laughs) Yeah. Which, which, uh, which Avenger would the Supreme Court like? Delivery's here. I don't, I don't watch any of those movies. Did you get your phone? <laughs> what? Pizza man. Oh, 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 oh wait a minute. What? Where, where's he going? <laughs> He's got a delivery. He's got a delivery. He's got pizza for all of us. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> what, did you did you order something, Bree? Is that what the, what this is all about? What, what did you order? A phone two He's months on, ago. He's on I mute. Know. I didn't order. But uh, there's groceries. Oh, I see. Are they outside with the groceries? Yeah. I see. And then after this, we're going to the animal shelter to look at dogs and cats. But wait a minute. You don't know if you're going to be there more than a year and you're getting a dog or a cat? We're looking to rescue an animal, perhaps. Perhaps. From the restaurant? It's not unusual. <laughs> Animals can travel internationally as well. Yeah. I, yes, but do you have maybe trouble getting rentals if you have a pet? Uh, mm, yeah. I mean, if you want to live in a modern high rise like one of the new ones, yeah. Yeah, but you don't like but, that. You don't like that kind of apartment. No, uh, the 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 place I have here, my master bedroom is like as big as my house was in Dutchess County. Mm-hmm. You know, and when I was upstate New York, so. Mm-hmm. I like this place. I, I would like to stay here. I would buy it if I could, but um, the properties have to be over a value of, I think, 280000 before a foreigner could buy it in this neck of the woods. If I go into the city of KL, I can buy for 1 million ringgit, um, but here I have to be at um, 2 million. 
bring yeah. it. So yeah. and this is this house isn't worth that much. So, but if it were and if it were nice, I would definitely consider buying. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, by the way, Matt Crash writes here, uh, where's Kathleen? Uh, Kathleen has a family situation. Uh, uh, there's a, something going on in the family, and uh, I, I don't want to talk about it, but she has to deal with that. But she'll be back. By the way, that echo you showed us just now, I just got one of those here. I have one sitting right here on my desk. Yeah. I like that one. I like that one. That's here. an echo. It's not a yeah. clock. Oh, yeah. that thing. No, no, that's no. The other one. The other one. Yeah. That's a ten. No. And that is a, that is the original regular one. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the one that you just showed us. It was on your yeah, desk. That's the five S. That's the I one that I just for, got. That's sitting right here on my $50. desk here. Huh? Really? I got that for fifty dollars. Really? I got mine for what did I pay for mine? I think it was fifty bucks. Yeah. It was like they they had a yeah, deal going. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what does it say? Go, go in on that, because mine says 1145, and it's, yours says 1145, except yours is in the morning and mine's in the evening. Or, excuse me, mine says, that's, why does mine right. say 1145? It's not, a, oh, it is 1145. Uh, <laughs> and it's just turned 1146, and it's 86 degrees there, and it's 48 degrees here. And uh, then they, uh, uh, what do you have? Do you, do you have the uh, temperature for tomorrow? You have, it's the same, it's like we could be sitting on my fucking desk right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How to make beans in the pressure cooker. Okay. Anyway, that's, uh, it's, a, it's a good little item. I, I like it. It's small and it's compact. Um, yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Do you have any of those, those Phil? Do you have an Echo or a... I, you know, I, I've kind of stayed away from them. Mm -hmm. I, I was just... I'm at the point where I've got too much tech in my life, and I don't want one more thing. Although somebody told me how you can play music through it and uh, Pandora. Oh, yeah. and oh no, I can do I can do I can do Skype on here. Oh, uh, I love if, it. If somebody calls my other Skype number because I have it plugged into here, uh, I can answer what it right like, here. What yeah. I like doing is uh, like when I'm just waking up and I, my eyes are groggy, and I can ask her what time is it, you know, and then. She'll call it back, and then I know. Do I got to get up right now? If I got to get up, then I say, "Give me my news briefing," or tune into something, and then that sort of gets me going. Yeah. Well, at the store, I've got a CD jukebox that's been playing the same fifty CDs since nineteen ninety four, and <laughs> you know, I was thinking maybe I get one of those things, get the uh, Amazon Music and yeah. or, or or whatever, and and yeah. just you know, let it play through the speakers. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Yeah. You know, I've got Wi-Fi at the store. Why can't I have yeah. that? Um, so anyway, uh, politically, Josh, anything hitting you politically lately? Are you watching this whole um, debacle going down with the president? Oh, I'm watching. It just keeps developing a little bit day by day. Yeah. Hey, Alex, it's i got to cut out because uh, oh, okay. the uh, family here wants us to go look at the puppies. Uh, so, okay, well, go look uh, at the I'll puppies, check. and we'll uh, we'll next. talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Um, there he goes, folks. Uh, let me see here. He's in the number. Which which position is he in? Five position. He's right in the, in the middle. I don't know is what that, that is. It? Wait a minute. Hold number five. That. Yeah, I can get rid of him. There we go. And he's gone. Uh, let me see here. Uh, what was I saying? Anyway, uh, Josh, I mean... Oh, Josh, politically. What, yeah. What's your take on just what's going on now? Do you, what do you think of the possibilities of impeachment here? Oh, I think I think they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I, do I you mean, think they have the votes? I think they do, yeah. yeah. I think they're just going to keep stringing this along without taking a vote and uh, hope that no, I, that's enough to weaken them. I don't, I don't think they will. I mean, they've come far enough at this point publicly that I think, you know, it would probably be a mistake not to. So I think they will. I mean, I think it's pretty inevitable. It looks pretty likely. And I think quietly behind the scenes, a lot of people know it. I mean, in the Senate, that? for example, they're quietly preparing themselves for a trial, not so much the politicians, but 
the the type of people that would work behind the scenes to orchestrate it uh you know the senate historian who would help them through the process of how it's been done in the past and certain lawyers and et cetera. so uh, i think it's coming you know i mean probably Probably in the next couple of weeks. I mean, aren't they afraid of losing thirty-one seats that were uh, that Trump uh, won the uh, the area during the election? Uh, they, they. I mean, they're they politicians. They're afraid of losing every seat all the time. Seems like no matter what, if they weren't always afraid of not getting reelected, they wouldn't all act like the way they do. So, you know, I mean, I mean, it it is what it is at this point. I don't see a way. I don't see a way around it or out of it other than to go forward with, you know, what they feel like they need to do. It's it's probably the right thing to do at this point. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that some lines were crossed that, you know, can't be accepted. Uh, some of the other things that Trump does, you know, that I don't like, I've never been in favor of some of this, you know, he's got to go type stuff and you know that i've i've not defended him but i've defended the system in that you know you elected the guy and now he gets to do this that and the other but this this situation that you know he's in now this is the one that i had the problem with i mean i think this was a legitimate uh a legitimate issue that they have here and you're not being influenced by uh, Adam Schiff's uh, uh, rendition of, uh, of of the non-reality of the conversation. No, and, uh, you know, when you read the transcript, uh, Adam Schiff said it was a joke, a parody. But he did that uh, in the official transcripts and, in, in, you know, in Congress. Uh, he, he read it into the record. That's, Schiff's not the enemy the here, Phil. What about Schiff's the G7 not, announcement? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I like the, the Doral. I like well, the Doral. I don't play golf, but it's. Uh, I think it's it a great matter, place for them. Phil. It and doesn't matter. Putin's he's going to be there. He's enriching himself, which is a violation of the emoluments clause. Uh, emoluments, emoluments. You it's know, it's called the Constitution. They got to stay. They got to stay somewhere. You know, the Doral's nice, and yeah, uh, Putin's going go to be there. The Doral's, the Doral's nice, but it's but, but nobody's like going the there anymore. Bugs. Nobody's going there anymore, and he needs That's, this. Well, you know. Uh, there was these old Jewish ladies that uh, were Phil, talking Phil, about. don't change the nature of the conversation. No, it's the Doral. You know, in it's my the Doral. It is a he has lost seventy percent of his business there, oh, and so the and so he needs the business, and that's why he's forcing this thing over to the Doral. And this does go against the emoluments, the Ishmaeliments clause, as you called it. Yeah. Uh, but the fact is that clause exists for a reason, so that a person who's president cannot enrich himself uh, uh, be, uh, with the presidency. Well, this is the first president that had money on his own and didn't make it. What by, do you mean? You uh, don't think Roosevelt had money on his own? He was filthy rich. Yeah, Roosevelt was wealthy, yeah. but he was uh, very was wealthy. There were a lot of presidents we've had have been incredibly wealthy. Teddy Roosevelt was incredibly wealthy. They got their money the old-fashioned way. All oh, I'm saying, it. Phil, it is you aim it. You said to businesses. me a moment ago. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you get it, Phil. Well, yeah, it does because Just look at Trump. He got 400 million from Daddy. Well, that's a start. You know, I didn't uh, realize until today, though. There's actually two emoluments clauses, and Josh can probably speak to this better than I. I don't. I don't. But know I, what I, I didn't realize there's two emoluments clauses. One is you can enrich yourself by foreign influences. In other words, you can't make money off of foreign governments paying you, but you also cannot enrich yourself by internal emoluments. In other words, you cannot, when you become president, cause the taxpayers to pay you money for stuff that you didn't earn. And that's exactly what this Doral thing would do. It would require all this upgrade on security and everything for all these national leaders coming in. And the government would have to, American government would have to spend all the money on this security, okay, which would enrich Trump. And then all these people coming in from these foreign countries are going to have to pay millions of dollars to Trump and, just to yeah, stay there. And once they've done the upgrades, they're there after the event is over with. Exactly. They don't take them back. You know, they don't say, oh, we're pulling out all the all the all the stuff that we put in to make this place safer. So I brought the shrimp cocktail. You didn't need it at the party. I'm taking it back. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you know, you can make any jokes you want to. 
But these are things that, you know, really. Look, these are, you know, worldwide, world known facilities. The uh, And it's set up so that uh, in the Doral, they said that there's uh, these areas where each. Uh, You're buying that. You're countries. buying that. You're buying the sales job, Phil. But there are a lot of other places this thing could have been held. That it would have been very yeah, better. Good. It would have been convenient if years and years and years ago. The United States would have perhaps built somewhere secluded and secure where these type of things could have been. To, oh, wait, they did. It's called fucking Camp, Camp David. Camp David. Can Camp David accommodate? <laughs> yes. The, yes. The, yes. The, yes. The, yes. Uh, a number of. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. It's had the G7 there before. They've held the G7 there, the past, as a of fact. The G7 the there G7 before. The G7 or G8 was there now, about, how do you like the fact that. The, President Obama. How do you like the fact that the current countries don't want to let Russia into the the group and yet he is calling it the G7 and he's inviting Russia isn't he the host and therefore can invite whoever he wants i imagine well so he invited putin yeah well, why doesn't he invite uh, uh what what do you call it? the guy from north korea too kim jong un kim jong un uh, let's why don't we why don't we just have why power. don't we just make the g the g whatever Neither uh, is Russia. A, 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 Russia's economy is smaller than Italy. You know, a, a, he wants to surround himself with dictators so he'll feel comfortable. Uh, it's the G whiz. Did anybody uh, laugh? And anybody, anybody laugh at that? No, I didn't yeah, see anybody no. laughing at it. <laughs> Phil well, was the only one laughing. Hey, I, I don't see any any problem. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a uh, it's a business. Yes, he owns the business, but it you know. They're providing a service. They're not supposed to enrich themselves while in office. How do you know they're going to enrich themselves? Maybe they're going to do what it costs. It, do doesn't, matter. it doesn't matter. It doesn't he's enriching matter. himself because after the fact, he's put some kind of juice behind Doral that might help it get more visitors. The Emoluments Clause says nothing about profit. It says you cannot receive any benefits. And because you this president, because, uh, and we can run over a little bit because Jack isn't on tonight, but the fact that this president won't show us his taxes and the fact that he won't, uh, 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 he then goes out and does this sort of thing, we don't know what he owns and he doesn't own and what we can protect ourselves against him using. So, you know, Phil, unless he's willing to share that, those tax, tax returns with us and give us an idea of the picture of, of what his holdings are, I think that we have a right to gripe about this. Yeah, gripe all you want. Uh, I hope he has a good time in Florida. Yeah. I, I heard a good, I heard a, uh, uh, some, somebody expressed an opinion about Trump will never quit because he's not a quitter. Right. And if he and if he's defeated in 2020, he will never leave because he's not a loser. So Trump is causing himself to be impeached because it's a way for him to leave office and turn around and launch Trump TV. Well, why can't he launch Trump TV from the office? You know, there's there's a they already have a broadcasting thing at the White House. He, you know, he just. Do it there. Phil, Phil. It's called the Emoluments Clause, Phil. Yes, it's called the Emoluments Clause. Well, that's if he clause. enriched himself. Yeah. Yeah, he cannot he cannot do he cannot receive anything of value without the consent of the Congress. Even if it's a even if it's a, a, a pipe cleaner that's gold plated, mm -hmm. Congress has to give him permission to keep that. Otherwise, if if some foreign power some foreign leader gives him something he has to declare it to congress and they if they say no you can't keep it it goes to the federal archives i didn't think that they were they ever kept anything uh you know congress when the president gets no. you know a sword or something from the congress you know, Kim usually Jong -un. says no yeah can't keep it and it all goes to the archives right well how do you do that with a doral country club uh, you enrich be, yourself with the Doral Country Club. And Congress is voting right now. They're going to vote next week on Tuesday a specific resolution that tells Trump, no, you do not have our permission to have the G7 at Doral. Yeah, well, I guess there'll be no Democrats there either. Yeah. It won't be anybody else either. I wonder if Angela Merkel will just decide not to show up. I, I understand she has a mean golf swing. Yeah, Phil, real funny. That really solves the problem. Well, let's get out of here, okay? 
With that, will with your funny joke, we should we should leave on a on a punchline, right? Bada boom, bada boom. I voted early in Kentucky because we're electing a new governor, and I'll be out of town on election day this year. So, uh, so Vernon, you voted early and often. Often, I voted <laughs> yes. early. Uh, Josh, thank you so much for being here. Jeff, see you on the on Sunday, okay? Uh, Phil, uh, uh, nice having you here, as well as Patrick. Always nice to have you hanging out, and of course Vernon. Uh, a little spit and fire there at the end. We like that, and of course. Uh, Yes, and Bree, thank you for having been with us. Uh, look, why don't you all kind of give a wave goodbye? Wait a minute, let me go back to them again. Hold on a second. I I pushed the button wrong. Let's wave goodbye, and then I push the button. Okay, all right. Thanks for being with us <laughs> this evening. Oh man, I'm just I'm I'm just fucking up so often now. I'm thinking about just quitting this whole thing. Yeah, stopping. Yeah. That would be it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, uh, sorry we had a little technical problems at the beginning of the program, but we took care of them, and they, they resolved themselves. I don't know why, and I'm not even going to ask, okay? Uh, in the meantime, uh, I want you to uh, stick around. Uh, we're going to run a rerun of, I think, the one we have we ran last night, too, of the uh, because I forgot to put a new one in there, of the... Uh, of the uh, uh, intersection with jack bishop because he's not here tonight so don't try to call all right and then uh we'll uh, be back again on uh, tuesday yeah right after uh, damian chaplin does the exchange uh here on gab gabby net uh and uh, then at 10 o'clock we'll be back same time same station in life in the meantime if you see her you know tell her i love her okay bye-bye everybody <laughs> <laughs>